What do you suggest to keep, maintain, and how? So, all right. So a lot of bodybuilders are suffering from hair loss, but a lot of non-bodybuilders are suffering from hair loss. Yeah. Right? I mean, right, Mona? I mean, this yeah. is this is like blatant yeah. obvious because you got big overweight people that are bald. <laughs> You know what I mean? Come on. Or they're losing hair. So, you know, the, the question is, is why? Why are people losing hair? Why are people, you know, going thin real early ages too as well? Well, there's a couple of different things going on, I guess. I guess environmental, we're breathing in, taking in, water hitting our head. Different shampoos might not be the healthiest for your hair. I heard some of them actually are bad for your hair if you utilize them. Um, you know, and at that, because man, I was back in the day when it was like per plus boom, it was real cheap, $5 a bottle and used it. And I was on my way in college. Now it's, it's a more expensive one that, you know, I'm making sure I'm trying to keep every lock that I have in my head still there, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so there's different things that you can do there wise, but you know, the other thing is, is it could come down to hormone levels and, you know, blood flow to the follicles in the head. So at that point, like. If you have high DHT levels, the hydrotestosterone levels, it actually blocks the blood flow from, you know, from here to your follicles in your head. And that's why they start dying out. They go through the, the, the stages. So at that point, you want to make sure you combat this. Now, one, if you're, if you're taking any anabolics whatsoever, then that could cause hair loss. I know people that have taken anabolics one cycle and lost a lot of hair. Wow. I know people that have taken everything in the bathtub and lost not one single strand. It could be genetics too, but if the genetics are against you, whether you're a male or a female, then it can erupt and cause a lot of problems hair wise. And I see it unfortunately with a lot of the heavyweight bodybuilding women, right? I see it all the time. Where it's fitness like, and uh, the fitness or not having hair. I mean, I know yeah. a lot of them that wear wigs, you know, or they, they do a little extension or whatever it is. I'm just being honest. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest, you know. And I feel for those, I feel for those women out there. I feel for the guys out there because it's a confidence factor, especially for women. For men, I, you know, to each is their own, I guess. But majority of men, I would say this. I would say, and I'm in this category too as well. I'd rather perform like a bull all day long and lose all my hair. I'd rather look good, perform good, and you know what? If I have to lose my hair, it is what it is. But a female it's not as easy for a female to go bald. I think for a guy it is, it's more acceptable. And like, you see a lot more bald guys out there where females, even if they are bald, they're wearing wigs and stuff like that. And you can't even tell these days they're that good. So yeah. I, I think at that point, you know, you need to look at these different things. If you have this in your, uh, your family history, then you need to look at this and say, listen, I might have a problem coming in the future. This is where being preventative is comes into play. If you start noticing your hair starts thinning, then you need to do something about it whether you start with a blood test or then start on Rogaine, which is minoxidil. And you can buy it in your local grocery store, Walgreens, wherever it is. And this will help to at least retain what, you're, what, what you have. Now, if you stop the Rogaine, you're probably going to start losing hair again. So that's one factor. If you want to go one step further, then we have a, a you know our, our tight hair foam, which has minoxidil, finasteride, and lantropost. So, Finasteride is the only FDA approved medication, except for minoxidil, that helps you retain your hair. Now, if you take this orally, whether it's one milligram to five milligrams, has the exact same effect. Um, but there are a percentage of people, and I was one of them taking it orally, that you have like, it's a male castration drug to a certain extent. It kills your libido. You don't even think about it. And you don't even wonder about it. So it's really weird. I've never been in that situation before in my life. And, I, you know, as, as soon as... I recognized it because Sharice was like, what's going on? And I'm like, I've never had this question in my life. What's going on? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> I started looking. I'm like, oh, hell no. I ain't going through this. I'm, uh -uh. No, no, no. Uh, so I stopped it. And it takes a couple of weeks to get out of your system. And But once it was gone, immediate. And it was funny because I was on testosterone replacement therapy when I asked the doctor. And this was not my doctor that prescribed this to me. Not at the clinic. And I asked him, he was a hair doctor. And I want, cause I was like, you know, I want to go right to a, a guy that does this every single day, every single patient and see what he says. And he said, well, you'll be on testosterone replacement therapy, right? I said, yeah. He said, you're not have to worry about any of that. He's like, nothing's going to happen. You'll be fine. You'll just retain your hair and you'll have everything going for you. So I said, okay, cool. Well, I blood my test, blood test myself a lot. 
Let's put it that way. So I was like, all right, let me put this way. Free and total testosterone ranges, estradiol ranges, and DHT ranges. Everything came back like it does now. I'm up on, on T on both levels, free and total. And my DHT was low because when I tested it before, it was like through the roof. It was like a couple hundred points. And I was like, uh-oh, I was like, this is really high. So I was like, I better get this down. So at that point, um, you know, at, at that point, my body was just converting it too quickly. And, and I started the DHT blocker and it went down normal ranges. It didn't go too low. So I was like, shouldn't be affecting me like this. But once that stopped, I was like, I don't care. I was like, it is what it is. I was, I'll, I'll take the hair foam. And uh, you know what? If I don't have no negative side effects with that, then I'll be good to go. So that's what I did. And that's what I do. And that's what a lot of other patients do. The other thing you can do is injectable biotin or hair health capsules. Those are good. You can actually do all three of these. And that's the way that I would do it. If somebody was like, you know what? I had a lot, like a lot of people had, um, you know, that viral thing that happened, you know, a couple of years ago for the last couple of years. And that made them lose hair too. There's a lot of women, a lot of guys that shedded hair because they caught that and they went through some, some issues inside or whatever happened. So by doing the injectable biotin, the hair health capsules and the hair foam, it will regrow everything that you've lost. Now, if you've lost all your hair, I'm not going to say it's going to be like a chia pet and grow back. So if you've lost it all, I don't want to say if it's all bald, then there's probably no way back unless you get the, the food, the hair transformation thing. Otherwise, what we have, but for majority of people out there, we can help them. Yeah. I just, for everybody, I do, I do the three, I do the shot, I do the tablet and I do the foam. Yep. So uh, that's what I do. And that's what's going to keep those keep locks hair, um, healthy and stuff. And then I also notice this, just so you guys understand when you diet an extreme diet, you do have breakage and, and thinning of hair, but that's because of the nutrition that you're taking in that will come right back as soon as you get back into a surplus and pull your training back down. Now that's what I noticed is even though I was in a deficit and in this extreme training yeah. doing the three right. from Titan medical helped yeah, keep the flow. And yeah. so it worked out great for me because I'm not worried about so much step, but on stage and being a bodybuilder and not caring about the face, I'm doing a movie. And so I had to be in that condition and had to look healthy for it. And so uh, yeah. thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. So that's oh, yeah. for anybody that's here. Um, yeah. The foam, the injectable and the uh, tablet. Yep. Uh, I recommend it.